All right, hey everyone. I'm uh, about to do my first video here. So, what I'm going to do today is uh, not play with spoons, but uh, I'm going to use these as an example. Um, I use spoons to test out different colors on models before I put them on. So, uh, as you can see here, this is a red gradient that I wanted to test out. So, I'm going to take these spoons here and cover them in uh, some white primer. And I recently got my um, ghost colors in from the Minotera paint line. And I'm uh, interested in seeing what uh, some of these colors look like here. So um, I'm most interested in some of these uh, weird named ones. Like uh, here we got, um, I don't know whether you can read that, oil discharge and uh, some plasma fluid. And uh, 12 colors all in total. So what I'm going to do is uh, pause this and prime these. And then I'm going to um, paint one up for you. Uh, let you see the uh, process I go through of airbrushing it on and then uh, I'll come back uh, with all of them done and do a comparison of all the colors and see how uh, I think they're going to look afterwards. Alright, I'm back. So, uh, as you can see, I've already painted one here. I've never actually used these before, so um, I wanted to make sure that uh, what I was doing was correct. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one of these colors that uh, I'm interested in really seeing the color on is plasma fluid here. I don't know whether you can read that, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to take this one here and uh, use it. Alright, so uh, with the plasma fluid here, um, one thing when these uh, come to you, be it the Minotaur paints or the uh, Ghost Shades, they have this uh, covering on the top that uh, you need to remove since uh, there is a little hole already in it. Um, in the top, just pull off this uh, wrapping here, toss that out, and just use some tweezers. I've already given this uh, a good shake since I haven't used it before, but shake it up again. So uh, I'm going to put about um, between uh, five and eight drops here into the, uh, into the airbrush. So I don't know uh, how well you're going to be able to see, but uh, so I'm just going to put that in there. So, uh, you probably can see it is a fairly bright blue. So, uh, let's give it a little bit of a spray, make sure it's coming out. You can see it there. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a nice light coat all over the entire spoon here. Um, kind of give you the uh, view of what it's going to look like, but just a, a light, light coat. And then I'm going to do a gradient uh, across it so we can see how it looks as you build that color up. So this is a, almost like a robin's egg blue right off the bat. Um, the coverage is uh, not bad. It's uh, around the same as uh, washes I've used uh, when I spray those as a mask over top of colors to kind of bring those colors out and whatnot. But um, it sprays really nice. Uh, no need to thin it down. It's almost like water to start. So uh, you can see this here. Um, a little bit of glare on it, but uh, that's what the uh, what it looks like so far. So I'm just going to move uh, some of my lights, so we reduce some of that glare a little bit. It's probably a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is just uh, take the top half now and give it a bit uh, bit thicker coat. So you can see, um, again, I used uh, like I said about uh, anywhere between uh, five and eight drops. I wasn't really counting. Um, in the in the brush just to uh, give you an idea of how much coverage you get out of it too because uh, some paints get really terrible coverage out of other stuff um, it's great so this here I'm actually really impressed with how much coverage I'm getting out of out of these colors so you can see I've done a gradient here now so uh, one side to the other um, again the glare is probably gonna really truly kill the real true feel of this, but this stuff does dry pretty glossy. Um, kill one of the lights there. And yeah, so um, I'm not sure if it's coming out as dark a blue as it really is, but uh, that is quite dark uh, on the side there. So, all right, so I'm going to pause this and I'm going to do uh, each color, come back and give you a bit of a comparison uh, afterwards. 
All right, so uh, I'm back. Uh, I zoomed in a little closer here on the uh, spoons. So I finished all of them. First of all, I want to start with a uh, couple little comments about the paints. Uh, they all spray quite well. Uh, one thing I did find is that they do um, require you to clean the tip of your needle um, a lot more regularly than I find with uh, normal acrylic paints. It really built up on there and uh, made it a bit more difficult to spray. So the other thing uh, you may or may not even be able to see on some of these you'll see a little spot, actually you see, definitely see a white spot here but some dark spots. Um, I don't know whether it's going to come into focus but basically that dark spot is due to the fact that while I was painting this blue here um, what happened was uh, the way the lids close on these uh, they kind of snap down and there was a bit of paint left on the edge of that blue bottle and it flipped over onto all the uh, spoons that I had sitting off to the side there so a bit, uh, bit of color splatter but again I'm not keeping these so I'm keeping them and then the uh, there's a couple white spots on the um, midnight blue and brown that's due to the fact that I dropped those spoons while they were still wet so um, but again I'm not keeping them we're just using them for a comparison here so I'm starting with uh, six different colors here the reason I'm starting with these was I was actually quite surprised uh, these the lighter colors uh, covered much better this here is the orange um, so it is quite yellow um, I had to use so uh, the original one I did I think I put in between five and eight drops uh, I said every subsequent co color I did I made sure I used five drops so that I could get consistent coverage on everything and then these ones here all actually required ten drops to get the coverage that I did because basically they weren't covered well but this is the orange and I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't call this orange at all. A um, bit of glare on there, but as you can see, it dries really glossy because this is the other edge, and that's the, the bottom of the spoon. So you all know what plastic spoons are like, and uh, this is way more glossy than the inside of that plastic spoon is. So uh, definitely really glossy when they are. But this is more of a yellow than an orange to me. Um, this blue is really nice. Uh, definitely, if you're doing ultramarines with the new Codex, uh, again, that yellow I just showed was uh, would it be great for Imperial Fist. This is great for ultramarines. Um, would work really well. Um, a little bit of pre shading and then putting this down would. And, uh, you know, this is a fairly big surface. It's about the size of a model. So, about 10 drops of paint would get your model done. And, I mean, the, the bottles are 30 mils. Um, so. This is the green. Uh, I also thought this would be good for a salamander color. Um, the coverage on the green was probably my least favorite of all the coverages. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of splotchy. Um, not nearly as nice as the coverage of the, the blue. Um, so here is the um, this is the midnight blue, which I wouldn't really call blue at all. Uh, more of a charcoal -y kind of color, but a bit of blue. Again, very glossy. Uh, the brown was nice. It covered well again using twice as much though um, and then we have the purple here so uh, the purple is really nice this would be good for a mask um, but also just in general um, it, it was pretty good um, I, I like the purple so I'll get the other colors and uh, the ones I didn't think would cover as well and show you those in a second alright so uh, back again here's the um, oil discharge color uh, this is definitely a uh, black color actually let me change that light again and uh, turn this one off this is my LED there we go that changed that a lot so uh, this one here a uh, nice gradient on it and um, it's uh, basically a black color um, gray to black as I expected with oil discharge this one here is fresh blood um, it didn't have as much coverage as I would have liked I probably should have uh, put extra drops in this one to uh, get the red color uh, out a bit more it's just my kind of pinky right now but it gives you an idea this is a plasma fluid I really like this color this color looks uh, really really nice um, the coverage on it was great um, this will work out well for any number of uh, glowing effects that people want to use uh, this is the yellow again the coverage on this was really good um, I was surprised five drops and uh, covered really well so highlights on Imperial Fist or something like that um, this here is the golden yellow uh, very close to the other yellow color um, it was really hard to get a gradient on this um, I'm not necessarily happy with the gradient but it did cover well um, again uh, maybe Imperial Fists or something like that and then this one here is magenta uh, very purpley pink color 
uh, Pink Screamers of Zinch come to mind, or uh, any type of Chaos uh, Armies would probably be good for. So, all in all, I think the um, paints uh, worked out really well. Um, I'm not 100% sure uh, on the glossiness of them. Um, I can't say I'm a big fan of uh, paints that dry glossy. Uh, makes it a little hard to pick out details when you're doing everything else, but uh, in general, they, they cover real well. I like them. Um, I'm not sure they do a much better job than uh, maybe a, a wash. So if you already have a full set of colored washes, maybe using those to spray uh, would work out just as well. But, um, you know, hey, uh, they, they came with the set uh, I picked up. I thought I'd use them, and I will definitely be using them. And uh, the other nice thing is, you know, you can consistently buy them. So you can match colors all the time uh, without having to play around. So, um you know, hope this was useful. Um, you know, uh, again, uh, pretty simple test. Uh, spoons, uh, pretty simple first video. Um, if you enjoyed it, like it, comments. If you'd like to see other uh, other stuff, then uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Do uh, a lot of airbrushing and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks.